here we are. We're doing a big ass haul today. Uh, before we get into it though, I still got my work clothes on, hair a mess, glasses are staying on because if I take them off, it's going to leave little marks on my face. Foundation, not the freshest. I've been up since 5 a.m. Give me a fucking break, Veronica. I had to work today super fucking early because we had fragrance inventory. I'm at work if you do not know I work at Ulta. Um, yeah. So, also, I'm overexposed because, A, because I have black shirt on, B, because I look like shit. And I'm not trying to underexpose to compensate for my shirt because when you underexpose, it makes you look even more like shit. And I look enough like shit as it is. So, oh, also, I wanted to address the fact that I am so sorry I've been so MIA in my comments. You guys know that I am very adamant about commenting back to at the very least 90% of my comments. I fucking hate it. It is a total pet peeve of mine when YouTubers make videos and then just completely ignore their comments. Like how fucking easy would it be to just throw videos up on YouTube and like never interact with anybody? That would be easy, but I don't do that because I don't like it when people do that. So I'm not gonna do that myself. Plus, I love interacting with you guys. It's like one of my favorite parts. Anyways, of this whole YouTube thing. Anyways, um, was that all, was that, was that it, was that it? I am filming this video in the midst of me getting off work and me picking up bro from school. So we're on a little bit of a time constraint here. So I am just gonna get right into it. And if there's something I remember along the way, then I'll say it along the way, okay? Okay, let's get into it. So I pull out a bunch of stuff. If you guys never watched a haul of mine, um, I use the shit, surprise, surprise. I don't leave it in the corner of my room for six fucking days just so I can show it to you inside the package. I don't care. I also take the package off. Like I don't keep the packages. Pretty sure my dog is chewing on a package as we speak. So there's that. So anyways, um, been doing a lot, of, a lot of shopping lately. Been doing a lot of shopping lately. So let's just get into it. I will start with Sephora. I also don't have the bags. The bags are on my floor, and it sounds like my dog might be getting into them and doing stuff. If you can hear the dogs, I am so sorry. Like, I've been so busy lately, even had to cancel my dog's um, grooming appointment on Sunday, and their nails need clipped so funky bad, and I ripped the carpet up in my upstairs hallway and on my stairs. So, like, if you hear clickety-clack, clack, clack, it's my dogs, don't worry. Um, all right, so. Sephora. Let's start with Sephora. So I haven't shopped at Sephora for a really long time because I'm going to be real fucking straight up honest. I work at Ulta and I get a discount. So why would I buy stuff at Sephora? But there is those very few things at Sephora that we do not carry at Ulta. What did I do with the highlighter? What did I do with it? I stuck it in this bag. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So Sephora, first thing I bought is this Fenty highlighter. Did I tell you guys I already used all this stuff? I'm pretty sure I did. If you hear noises, it's white chewing on things. Um, Fenty Beauty highlighter. This is the Kilowatt highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Uh, if you guys watch, I think it was like a Get Ready With Me or something. Um, that I use this in. I have been using nothing but this highlighter. I love it so much. I'm not sure I have it on today. I don't think I have it on today. I don't think I fucking have a highlighter on today because it was 5 a.m. Veronica when I had to get ready for work. So there's that. Um, it's so good. I don't know if you guys can see because my camera is completely fucking overexposed because I look like shit. But there is a massive dent. Oh, there you can see it like that. There's a massive dent in this side because I love it so much. It's so nice. When I first seen like all the Fenty reviews, I was like, oh my God, shut the fuck up. I'm so tired of hearing about Fenty. I did have intentions of going and like swatching the highlighters and like checking out the lip gloss. But when I got to Sephora and I swatched it, I was like, I really like that formula it's a very nice formula it's very soft it's not powdery at all if you're somebody that has a lot of texture on your skin um it it doesn't help with texture but it helps to not emphasize texture it's like one of those few highlighters that don't just make it look like you have fucking alligator skin on your face so i really really like this what i wish is that and I'm pretty sure I said this in my get ready with me is like, what up with a warm tone highlighter for pale people. That's what I meant in my, I was watching, um, my get ready with me when I was answering comments the other day. And I was like, why did I say that? Like she's got all kinds of warm tone highlighters, but none for fair skin. The only one for fair skin is pink tone. And I 
do not fucks with that but this one's not as pink tone as a lot of them like some pink tone highlighters are just like so pink they look ashy this one's like not that pink but it's still really fucking good and i love it i need to not talk so much about the products if we want to get through this huh yeah so next thing i got from sephora is another fenty thing i'm a thing this is the fenty this is the fenty lip gloss but like there's nothing on the package. Like there's no color. There's no, yo, this is lip gloss. I mean, granted there is only one lip gloss, but I'm sure it's got a fucking color name. I really like this. I like the formula. It smells like Kool-Aid. Like when you open up a Kool-Aid packet, that's what I think it smells like. That like sour smell. Um, the formula reminds me of Bare Minerals Moxie glosses, the Buxom glosses without the burn. However, I will say that, <coughs> sorry, my allergies are so fucked up today. My nose is probably all red. Probably not because I'm totally overexposed right now, but I have been digging up my nose all day. My allergies are on fleek. Um, what was I saying about this? Oh yeah, this, I really like the formula and stuff, but I feel like the more you wear it, it like chaps your lips. I really like it and it's what I have on right now, but I feel like when I bring it with me and apply it throughout the day, it starts to get real fucking crusty real quick. Like, I almost feel like it makes your lips chapped. Like, it dries your lips out and then it gets like real globby and gross. But if you just put it, like if you're putting it with lipstick and other stuff, if you wear it really lightly in a real light layer on its own, it's really nice for the whole day. But if you put it over top of a lipstick or like a liquid lipstick or whatever, it does tend to get like a little bit ick because it's a thicker gloss, but it's not sticky. It's a very smooth, thicker gloss, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. I told you guys, I'm just all over the place today. I got a thousand things running through my head right now, but we're doing it, we're on schedule, hey, hey. Um, Yeah, so this is dope. Would I recommend it? Mm. I mean, I think it's just as good as any other gloss. It's just what it is, is the color. It's a very, like, universally flattering color, and it does make your lips look very glossy. It's got a lot of shimmer in it, but I don't think it's anything revolutionary or anything like that. Wait, what are you chewing on? He was totally chewing on the fucking Slow Lawrence. Stop. He always finds the Slow Lawrence. Aiden got this, like, little stuffed animal thing from the zoo when we went to the zoo and it's a slow loris if you don't know what a slow loris is it's those things where like when people like lean towards them they like go like this that means they're scared though so it's kind of mean but they're super cute they go like this but anyways mm, god damn it why you're such an asshole okay moving on the next thing i got from fenty that i actually have the box to because that's what that's what <laughs> that's what Guess what? This is going back to the store because this sucks so fucking bad. It's one of the matchsticks um, in the color Starstruck. So I got this because I was like, oh, this is pretty. Little bit, little bit pre uh, cream, little highlighter, a little bit. Dude, this feels like putting fucking chalk on your face, like literal chalk that you find benunxed a chalkboard that's what this feels like like i'm taking a stick of chalk and rubbing it on my face it is the driest highlighter cream whatever blah 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 that i've ever fucking felt in my life and i'm totes taking it back it sucks ass i um did not swatch the contours when i was there because i'm just not like super down with cream contour um but if they feel anything like this, fucking run for the hills, girl, because it is not good at all. I seen like so many people talking about it, saying how glossy and pretty it was. And I thought, oh, maybe it's like my Laura Geller ones that I really like. No, absolutely not. Go buy the Laura Geller ones. Don't buy these. They're awful. Okay, that is it from Sephora. Now on to Ulta, where I actually get a discount at. I buy the majority of my things. Um, I'll start, I got a couple of things for gratis, so I will start with that. Next thing I got for gratis is this Buxom Big O. I guess Buxom's coming out with these like, excuse me, thank you. Um, I guess Buxom's coming out with like balms or whatever, but, and this one's like pink, 
and it's like real fucking pink. I doubt you're gonna see it because it's a fucking bomb. Um, I don't like it because it's that minty, like buxom. <laughs> Stop, please. He's just grabbing whatever he can and chewing it all to fuck. Um, it's that like tingly, buxom, like minty. I just do not care for that. Uh, I put this in my purse the other day and I was using it and it, it, it's not as bad as the glosses so I didn't mind it but once it gets cold outside I can't fucks with these. I cannot do buxom glosses in the winter time because they make me cold. Like they make your lips cold therefore they make me cold. I do not like them at all. I'll probably still use it because it's expensive and it was free but mm, I, oh no you know what maybe I'll give it to my mom. Next up for gratis um what did i get oh next up that i got for gratis as well is this bare minerals um uh i don't know the name hold on let me see if i can dig the box out here nope okay maybe i don't have the box i thought i did i think they're called radiant lipsticks or something like that this one's in the color nudist it's very pretty i don't know why it's called radiant um because it doesn't have shimmer or anything like that to it. It's just a really glossy lipstick. That's all it is. Can you hear my dog's nails on my stairs? Jesus. There was hardwood underneath the carpet, BT dubs, just in case you were curious. Um, but I really like this color. I've been wearing it a lot lately. Mm, this is what I was talking about when I was talking about putting a lipstick under the Fenty gloss. I put this under that, and I don't know if it's just too much or what, but... I still like the color of it with it though. It's so good. It's a very nice neutral nude that would flatter like a lot of skin tones all the way up to like really deep skin tones because it's not super too pink, you know? So that's in the color nudist. There's that. If um, I have time, I will link everything below that I mentioned here. If I got time, girl, I don't know. Hopefully I even have time to edit this damn video. Um, next up, I got one of the liquid glows, um, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are so fucking pretty. Uh, I got the color bronze though. The way it works is like when we get gratis at work, it's not like we get a whole slew of things that we get to pick from them. They just like, they send us what they send us. You know what I mean? And we don't even carry these in the store. So they just send us what color they sent us and they just happened to send us bronze which kind of sucks but i'm gonna try it i haven't yet but i'm gonna try it as like an eye base or something but dude look at that look it's so pretty it would be so pretty on deep skin so pretty so i may not even keep it i might just give it to um one of my friends or i might give it to my niece it would look really pretty on her you know what i did the one day with it though i put it on the back of my hand and I used my beauty blender and I used it as like a really light like bronzer. It was so pretty and glowy. I used it kind of like bronzer because I used this wet and wild little cream cushion thing as like my bronze contour and I just kind of put this over the top and it was really pretty. So maybe I will keep it for that. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, moving on. Next up is, I think this is the last and final thing um, gratis wise that I got and it is this Bumble and Bumble BB Prey Tape Powder, pre a powder, pre it's just hair powder and that's all it is. It's just hair powder. You just, you know, put it in your hair and kind of and then it takes the oils out of your hair at some point in time but usually you don't have a white spot <sighs> today's one of those days girls it just is it usually it, it usually brushes out you have to brush it and stuff so anyways just just some hair powder bumble and bumble hair powder um is it worth it says it's equal parts dry shampoo style extender and volume in a pinch is is it worth like the 30 fucking dollar price tag hell to the no like i personally don't feel like any fucking powder is worth a 30 dollar price tag i don't give a fuck if it came out of jen atkins asshole i don't care it's powder powder is powder is powder i used to use i used to use um rcma powder for my hair it does the same fucking thing, it's just powder. It's either silica powder or it's like talc or this is cornstarch. 
It's cornstarch, girl, with some scent in it. Go put some fucking cornstarch in your hair. No, you're not worth $30, but I'll take it for gratis. Thanks, Veronica. Okay, next two things are foundation, and they are the Maybelline um, Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. I got this because a few of you guys recommended this. I actually have never tried this, surprisingly. I feel like I've tried fucking everything. Um, but I've never tried this because... Uh, when this was like all the rage on YouTube, I was like hella oily. So I never like had any inclination to try it. Cause I'm like, what the fuck do I want with that? I'm oily AF. So when they came out with this, the matte and poreless, I tried it and I loved it. Um, but at the time that when I first tried it, I had really, really bad acne and I feel like you can only get up to like a medium coverage with this, even though I really like it. I like the finish. I like the way it looks. I do have to put on lots of hydrating things underneath of it, like hydrating primer, lots of moisturizer, and then it looks good because it's, it's more of a satin than a matte. Um, but I don't think it, I would not call it full coverage, even though it, I'm pretty sure it like claims to be full coverage. I'm not super positive. I wouldn't call it full coverage, but now that I don't have as much acne, I really love it and I wear it quite a bit. So I, this is the only thing like in the whole haul that I haven't tried yet. Okay, continuing on. Let's fucking get this show on the road, girl. I got lots of stuff. Two more lipsticks. I got these NYX uh, Super Clicky lipsticks. One is in the color Secret, which is a quite nice color if I do say so myself. But it's very like out of the box for me because I don't do like these pink tone, pinky pink. I'm either like real dark and brown or like real light and nude. Um, I usually don't do these like in between colors, but I was like, these are so pretty. So I got this berry color and then this color, they're so nice. The formula really reminds me of the Maybelline um, uh, matte lipsticks you know what i mean like that formula it's basically that exact same formula i really like the applicator because it's like super duper skinny can you guys see like there that's a little bit better it's almost shaped like a teardrop there you can see it there so it's got like a point on it so you can get like a really nice precise line these are really really nice i might buy a couple more colors because they have um, a pretty decent color range in these. I just seen one on display at work and I was like, oop, bloop, bloop, give me that and that. Thank you very much. Okay, so the last thing I have for lips, right, please, yes, is this, and I still have the box. This is the lip liner still in here. Um, it's this Retro Lux Gloss Lip Kit by Makeup Revolution. And this is in the color Unicorn Dream. Everything's a fucking unicorn now. And the lip liner, is purple I, I haven't even opened it um there we go the lip liner is purple and like i don't fucks with purple lips so it's really pretty though i might like try to use it as an eyeliner but what i wanted it for is the gloss because if you go to ulta they actually have like testers of these on display this fucking gloss dough is so freaking pretty it's like i mean you guys are gonna see it um let me, I'll put it on one sec. Okay, no, nothing on the lips. I've been putting this over a lot of lipsticks, but it's almost like a duochrome gloss and the gloss is so nice. See it? Uh, isn't it pretty? Oh my God, it makes your lips look so nice. And I really like the formula of it. The only thing I don't like is this fucking applicator sucks ass. So what I think I'm gonna do is take some tweezers and take the little thing off Cause it's like you can't get enough gloss you have to dip it in like seven times just to get you know a good enough amount to like slather your lips with it there we go but it just looks so pretty i don't know if it's gonna like what's that word um translate on camera but it's like it has like a pink duochrome to it it just looks really good over lipsticks and stuff like that and like I said, it's a really, really nice formula. It kind of reminds me of the Fenty formula, TBH, but Makeup Revolution, I got it at Ulta. It's so good. I love it so much. I've been wearing it all the time. Next up is this Essence. Um, I love strobing. High, oh, eyeshadow base? This is an eyeshadow base? Dude, I've been using this as a highlighter. What the actual fuck? I've been using it as a cream highlighter. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Wow. 
So this is what it looks like. I thought it was really pretty. Like I swatched it at work and I was like, that would be such a pretty like natural highlighter. So that's what I've been using it for. Apparently it's an eye base unbeknownst to this one right here. But I've just been like tapping it on top of my cheeks and like tapping it in and it just makes a really pretty like super natural highlighter. So <laughs> if you happen to come across this eyeshadow base that says I love strobing on it, it makes a real good cream highlighter girl. Jesus, I'm a mess. Next up is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I know, I know when I ran out of this, in my empties video, I tote said, would I pay $38 for it? No the fuck I wouldn't. Is it a good primer? Yes it is. Would I pay the 38? No I wouldn't. However, cause I know you guys are sitting there like, bitch, you say you want to pay for it, I don't know. However, I will say this, Becca, um, two weeks ago I think it was, was an extra 25% off on top of my already 25% off discount, just saying. Would I pay $21 for it? Fuck yes, all day long. No, I would not pay 38 plus 25% off, which I think it turns out to be like $34. I would not pay over 30, let's put it that way. But I would pay 21, because that's how much it was after both discounts. So I was like, fucking A. Plus I had to buy something back up, so I'd get this cool ass little ring light that I showed you guys like in my favorites video which I still use to this day, even though I haven't been on any social media, it feels like, for the past fucking week. But this is really good though. So if you are somebody that doesn't mind paying $38 for a primer and you're hella dry, this is really nice. I actually like it better than the backlight priming filter. Um, just because I feel like the backlight filter is a lot more like glowy, um, but this one's so much more hydrating. It's just very nice on the skin. Okay, okay. Not that much left, I promise, I swear. Um, Jesus, this is long. I already, no I didn't. Okay, next thing I bought is NYX HD Concealer. I have used this um, before and I used to love it like back in the day. The reason I bought it though is because I don't know if you guys know this, but they extended their concealer range. So they now have a concealer that is light enough to highlight pasty pirates. Yeah, girl, that's what's up. It's like this really light yellow tone concealer and it's very, very brightening. This is actually one of my very most favorite um, concealer formulas just because it's like so moisturizing. It's so light, but it's not so moisturizing that it's gonna like crease everywhere and like be gross. It doesn't have the most coverage ever, but it's really nice for highlighting. The one thing I do not like though is the amount of product you get is shit. <laughs> like there is 0.11 ounces in here and a standard concealer is 0.28 ounces. So if that tells you anything, it's like less than half of a regular concealer. But I want to say it's like $7.99, so it's not that bad. You're still not paying prestige prices even if you were to buy the amount of a prestige concealer. So that's nice, but I love this. This is the shade 00. 01 was their CW01 um, was their original shade, and now they have CW00. Um, there's a couple, I think they added like four to five shades to the range because I did the planogram for that. And I was like, oh, hells yes, give me that. I want that. Only got three things left. Three things left. Three things left. I don't know. Okay. This Lorac Pro 4. Y'all saw me use this. I think in the get ready with me. I know I didn't do anything like super duper fancy with it, but I promise you guys I will in the future. Once I get this shit settled with my house and we get our carpet installed and like everything's back to normal, I promise this and the subculture palette, there will be looks with both of those. Um, I just, I really like the colors in here. They're very unique like they're colors that i don't have in any other palettes which is why i got this i think i told you guys in my get ready with me i really love these palettes like the lorac pro palettes are so fucking good because you have such a good variety and i love lorac eyeshadows if you like anastasia shadows and you've never tried lorac shadows you will love lorac shadows because they're basically like legitimately the same formula they, they are very soft and powdery but 
at the same time they blend like a dream they basically blend themselves the shimmers are freaking like out of this world they're so soft and metallic and pretty i mean jesus look at that like they're just so nice so i promise you guys i will have some looks with this let me wipe my fingers off before i fuck up this black shirt i will have some looks with this i promise you guys outside of like my norm my standard fucking boring ass basic bitch looks i will have that oh my god i totally forgot about this i totally forgot about this it just rolled right over to me like it was destiny um this is the clinique workout 24 hour mascara i have not heard anybody talk about this this mascara is fucking life like you guys it's so good y'all know if you follow me and you know me you know i do not buy high-end mascaras i just don't i don't buy high-end lipstick i don't buy high-end mascara and i don't buy high-end eyeliner it just is what it is unless it's something that like it's a color that isn't replicated drugstore wise or it's a formula that's not replicated drugstore wise otherwise i just won't do it if you see me with high-end mascara more times than not it's something that is not like anything else or it's something i got for gratis um this however i actually bought i actually paid 20 dollars for this because i will tell you a little story i know this video is like hella fucking long so time stamp please you can go get fucked um this mascara so i went to work one day and the only thing i had on I usually work Sundays from 7 to 11 in the morning because we do a lot of operational things like planograms and stocking and set stuff up and stuff like that and I'm never there when the store opens. So normally I just throw on a CC cream and a little bit of the IT Cosmetics uh, or IT Cosmetics, the Benefit Their Real Tinted Primer. I'll just throw it on my top lashes and go. Um, so I had seen this. It actually caught my eye because I saw the little spoolies for it like the tester spoolies for it look exactly like the brush and this is what the brush looks like it looks exactly like the um brush for the mac extended play giga black lash however this one's a little bit longer and the bristles are not as spread they're not as far apart as what they are on the mac one so i seen the little um spoolie sitting there and i was like oh i want that fucking spoolie i'll take this home with me and use it you know what i mean so then i seen the mascara and i was like what is this 24 hour workout mascara really so y'all know you bitches know that eminent struggle with my lower lash line transfer so i was like let me put this bitch to the test because and this is why i was at work because i have no lower lash mascara on right now which normally i never go to work without makeup but this was one of those days that i did so i put it on my lower lashes it did not fucking transfer all day long it did not transfer i was like Mwah. so best believe veronica by the end of my ship i bought that motherfucker and i actually like it on my top lashes too it is what i have on today i have a no transfer kind of i didn't set my under eyes today but by the end of the day if i didn't set my under eyes like y'all on snapchat see y'all see what goes on down there it is not fucking pretty girl not in the slightest and oh my god it's just it's so good you know what it is too i believe it does not transfer because it's a tubing mascara it does not claim to be a tubing mascara but it does claim that it has 24 hour wear but it's very easy to get off with only warm water um, but the first time I went to wash it off, I was like, oh, sit. I don't know if you've ever used a tubing mascara before, but as soon as the water hits it, it comes off and it looks like, it, to me, it reminds me of like little feathers. Like it almost looks like little like feathery pieces that come off of your eyelashes. So when I did the coconut oil on my eyes and I pulled my hands back, I was like, oh, oh shit. So I started like pulling on my lash. I was like, this is a fucking tubing mascara. No wonder why it stays on so good. And that brush dough. I just fucked up my choker. Did I? Yep. <sighs> Let me fix it. Okay. <laughs> I need to control my movements. I hate my fucking neck. I have the neck of a bodybuilder. Anyways, shit gets shit gets real, Veronica. When we like do that, I better not do it. Okay. Anyways, this is so fucking good and the brush like just makes your lashes so nice so nice girl you guys have to try it you can get it at ulta it looks like this it's just so good it's so good i can't believe i almost forgot it i was so excited to tell you guys about this i would have been pissed if i would have forgot it okay continuing on now we have two more things 
The next to last thing, I can't think of what it was called. The next to last thing is the Earth Palette from NYX. Um, these motherfucking palettes are $30. $30. No wonder why they didn't put the fucking price on the display, NYX. Really? So this is the palette that, and I don't know um, if you guys have seen these, but these, like the display for these, have little YouTubers on each one. This one is Sam, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce her name, Ravindal, Rondal, Ravava, I don't know, Samantha from Battle Ash. I always say Sam from Battle Ash, just because I don't know how to pronounce her fucking last name. Um, this is the one, I don't know if she created it, or her name's just on it, or what the dilly. I was so fucking pissed because we got all these in. So there's Sam. There is, oh God, what's that bitch's name? I can't think of their names right now. It's going to take me too long to think of it. The Irish girl that always hangs around Sam. I can't fucking think of her name. She has a metal palette. I wanted that palette so fucking bad. So I actually put the display up. Um, and that day I was like, oh, I'll come back and get it tomorrow. Um, or two days in two days when I work again. Cause I was just like too tired that day to even flex with like buying shit. So I was like, I'll just get it next time I work. I fucking come back bitch. And this was sold out. And the other girl's palette was sold out. The metal palette was sold out. I was so fucking pissed. So pissed. Well then we ended up getting one of these in. So I snatched it up. I'm like, that is mine. I'm buying that. I get up to the motherfucking register. And this shit costs $30. Like, Nyx, what? $30 fucking dollars at that point. You might as well buy a prestige fucking palette. You know what I'm saying? But it is very good. Being that it is $30, it's really good. The only thing um, that is missing from this palette is a lighter shimmery shade. I wish there was like a lighter shimmery shade for like inner corner highlighting or you know lighten up the lid a little bit the other thing i do not like is the greens in here are not green green so it, and i know it's i really like this um like camo color green bt dubs um i know it's really hard to do green but i don't know if you guys have noticed i know it looks green as fuck on camera but it doesn't like irl um, that one kind of looks green on camera too, but in real life, it really doesn't. It's so hard to do green because forest green always looks just like a dark color, um, on your eyes. I had this on my eyes. Um, oh, what video? I don't know. Some video. A couple of you guys asked me for looks. So I'll probably do it. These greens almost look on the side of gray. So that's the one thing I don't like about it. I wish they were a little bit more true green. Because like when you blend them out, it doesn't even really look green. Like I know it does on camera, but I promise you guys, like in real life, it just looks like a smoky gray color. That's the one thing I don't like. And I wish there was a lighter shimmerier color. I'm so pissed that we still have not gotten in another metal palette. I'm so mad. I mean, who's to say though, I may not fucking shell out 30 bucks for that again. Good thing I get a discount, girl. Okay, last up. The last thing I bought, which I was also like, what the actual fuck? I made a mistake. Um, I had returned a couple of things to work. My subculture palette I returned um, only because I got it for gratis. Uh, so I still have the subculture palette. I got it for gratis and I went to like exchange it the day I got it for gratis and ended up returning it just in case you were curious who gives a fuck. Um, and then <clears throat> I don't remember the other, like a foundation or something. Oh, the Smashbox stick foundation. I returned those two things and I got some of this stuff and then I got this. I meant to grab an Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Let me see what time it is. Do I have to? Okay. Advanced Night Repair face mask. Okay. So I grabbed this and I take it to the register and like, I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't really buy that much. I didn't buy all this in that one sitting, but I didn't buy that much. And I'm like, why is it still like $65? So then I get home and I go to like use my mask and open the box up and realize, oh, I bought the four pack because the four pack's like 60 bucks, bitch. Yeah, it's like 65 fucking dollars. So I was like, what the hell? But I really wanted to use the mask, so I just used it anyways. And I was like, fuck it, I got it now, so I might as well keep it. I do really like these masks, I will tell you. Um, these, they're just sheet masks by Estee Lauder. Basically all they are is masks that are filled with Advanced Night Repair Serum, if you've never used. 
Um, the Advanced Night Repair Serum, it's a really good serum if you have redness or um, uneven skin tone, things like that. It really like calms your skin, soothes your skin. There is a sheet mask in here. There is a piece of plastic in here and there is foil over the sheet mask. Do not discard the foil, okay? I am an asshole and I don't read directions. And the first time I use this, um, I was like, oh, I really like this mask a lot. So then, and it's called like the power foil mask. So then we had a representative from Estee Lauder come in and she was like, talk, talk, talk in. She started talking about this mask. She was like, oh yeah, my friend used this mask and like totally took the foil off. And I was like, oh my God, no, you didn't. And I was like, wait, wait, what do you mean she took the foil off? You're not supposed to take the foil off? And she's like, no, that's the whole premises of the mask is because the foil like heats up to the temperature of your skin, like basically your body temperature. So it keeps the mask warm. That's what the foil does. It's the only one of its kind. And I was like, son of a bitch, when I bought it, I took the foil off. So I kept the foil on and it does. It keeps your face like really warm. And also the thing I like most about this is they put so much juice in this. I can get three uses out of one mask. So it is a $20 or $22 mask um, to buy them singly, but you can get three uses out of them. If you take them off really carefully and fold them back up and stick them back in there and just like fold them over like this, y'all know uh, a bitch don't play. I fucking like take the short road out. I, I don't know what that means. Okay, but that's what I do and I use it three times. So I'm like, okay, because at first I was like four fucking masks seriously for $65 that's gonna last like a week um not really but like a month um but I can use these three times so it's gonna last like that much longer I can make this whole box last for you know a few months so then in turn I justified the $65 price tag will I ever buy it again probably fucking not for $65 I was so mad, so mad, but I didn't want to not use it that night and that horrible. But anyways, it is a really, really good mask. It is again, $22, but it's worth it because it is a mask where, you know, most sheet masks, I think I've told you guys before, like most sheet masks that I use, I, I do not see a difference right off the rip. But with this one, you do like your skin just looks very glowy and healthy. And it looks, you know, if you've got any redness in your skin, it takes that away. It makes your skin like very vibrant and takes like a lot of the dullness out of your skin. It's a really good mask and you can use it three times. So Jesus, that's it. I told you I had a whole bunch of shit, a whole bunch of shit. So I'm going to go. I've got five minutes to get my ass downstairs, let my dogs out before I go and pick bro up from school. So what have you guys been hauling lately? Are there any like holiday things that you guys are like digging on? I don't really see anything that I want. I mean, I haven't like really looked it through. I do want that new Anastasia palette though, the prison palette, that looks pretty dope. Um, other than that, there's not really like holiday shit that I want. I'm totally gonna do a holiday anti-haul BT dubs. So get ready for that, bish. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to get my videos up on schedule this week. I just thought I had a different work schedule. Like if you don't follow me on Snapchat or no, I said that in my blog. Yeah, I totally forgot I uploaded a blog. I told you guys it has been a crazy ass damn week. Um, I totally forgot I uploaded that. I'm, I'm going to stay on schedule this week. I know I said I probably wouldn't be able to in my blog, but I feel like I'm going to be able to now. And to those of you guys who are asking about my ceiling fan from the vlog, a bitch fixed it. Thank you, Veronica. Tim would not let me touch it over the weekend and her friend was not able to come over the entire weekend. And don't you know, as soon as fucking Monday hit and Tim took his little ass to work, I got right up on that six foot ladder and fixed that mouthful. And it was the exact same thing that I told him what was wrong with it, that I told you guys what I thought was wrong with it is the wires were not connecting. So now it works and it works amazingly. So if you are somebody that has no ventilation in your bathroom, girl, looking to put in a ceiling fan in there. Because when I took a shower last night, my sink was not wet, my toilet was not wet, there was no steam on my mirror, it was amazing, okay? So I'm super excited that I got it in and I did it all myself, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna install another one downstairs in our living room, just saying, I'm a fucking electrician. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta take off, I gotta go pick bro up from school. Um, let me know what you guys have been peeping on. If there's anything again that y'all been peeping on that you want because I get my discount online now. 
I get my discount online now. So let me know if there's anything in Shopify. I got lots of bullet points to blow. Just saying. Um, anything else? Anything else? Oh, thank you again for like just being understanding. I'm really like busting ass to try to stay on schedule, and you guys have noticed. So thank you so much to all you guys. Like just noticing that like the work that I put into staying on schedule three days a week. I really appreciate your guys' comments. I am so sorry I've been so MIA in my comments. I swear to you guys, I will get caught up. Um, I will get caught up on Snapchat. I ain't even been on fucking Snapchat in two days. Can you believe that? That is unheard of for me. Unheard of, girl. Like, I, I was gonna say something else, but I forgot. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you are not. If you are new here, Jesus, what are you doing here? Why do you like me? Subscribe and stuff. I don't know. Uh, make sure you hit the bell so you don't get unsubscribed. I've actually noticed that um, my subscriber count is going up instead of, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So that is awesome. Hopefully it is because you guys are like hitting the notification bell. So you're not getting unsubscribed to me over and over again dope so if you haven't hit the notification please do i would appreciate it so much uh yeah i think i think that's it i think i'm gonna go so follow me on all my social media here and i will catch you guys in my next one on thursday i'm consistent so i can say that now i will see you guys on thursday peace